Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back. And this week, I think I've got everything working properly, so we won't have any problem. And uh, right off the bat, the thing froze up on me. Uh, bear with me. Hopefully, I won't do that too much. And um, besides, hopefully, in a, a few weeks, if all goes well, knock on wood, we will be closing on our home. And um, I will have a bigger studio with natural light, much better lighting. And uh, also on the main floor of the house is where my studio will be. And I shouldn't have any problems with this cutting out like it's been doing. Um, trying to figure out where to put my phone. There we go. Ah, now, okay. Uh, start the timer. Uh, get my coffee. Hey, there we go. Coffee in my, one of my very earliest mugs. Um, now, <laughs> we're, we've got, what have we got? Susie's got four, eight mugs. I've got eight mugs that we've kept out. Uh, we actually have like 125 mugs and ni almost 90 of them are Disney mugs, but um, the rest of them are packed. So in the next few weeks, we have to keep using the same mugs. Oh no. <laughs> Hi Debbie, Melanie. Yeah. Brian, oh, you're in Wyoming. Wow, nice. Oh, thanks for on the house there. Uh, Kevin, Tina, how are you, Tina? From England in the Lake District. She, you and I were having a great discussion a while back, uh, just about an hour ago. Um, Tina and her sister do miniatures. Uh, I think I wrote it down. You should check this out, twistedminiatures.com. Great site, great miniatures for uh, for doll houses and stuff. It's really great stuff. And um, we hope to visit them sometime over in England. And uh, anyway, now, let me actually build a miniature of the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Now, you're looking at what's beside me. Yes, of course, set the coffee down. Don't break the mug. Um, and uh, there's more to this guy. I'm going to tip, tip this up. Let's see, he's, oh, look at that. Except for the uh, two poles on the, or the ties on the curtain. That's not done. The rest of it is done down to here. So I'm going to paint his legs, um, and his, his garters right there. Okay, the socks are falling down. And uh, um, I've got all my paint set up here. Uh, I actually have the different colors in, in cups this time rather than in one container. And uh, I've got white, black, um, burn umber, um, and I've got, let's see, other colors. Anyway, oh, I need to get together. Um, first, very important, my wife and I love the show Hawaii Five-0. We're very upset that uh, Kim and Park will no longer be on the show, so we're not going to watch it because they didn't seem a fit to pay them enough money to equal the other uh, people on the show, so uh, on them. Uh, it won't be the same without them. So there, I've said my piece. <laughs> Jamie, hi. Uh, Cassie, hi. Oh, hi, Cassie. You, you like it? This is this is yours. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've roughed in the colors uh, down onto the keg of dynamite and everything. So um, I obviously will finish this in the morning. And it'll be on its way. Yay. Oh, I got to mention one other thing. In our uh, uh, new house, um, we're going to put English Garden in the whole back here, and actually some in the front. But it'll be real nice pathways going through all the flowers and plenty of room for our dog and stuff. Uh, but I'm also going to have a waterfall, and I'm building two of the broomsticks, uh, uh, six-foot-tall broomsticks from um, Fantasia. And they're going to have their buckets. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have one bucket have water flowing from the fountain into the bucket and just overflowing. 
but the other buckets that they have will actually have flowers in them. I've had this idea for years. I'm finally going to do it. And now I'm go after I have more coffee. <laughs> they were very, oh, yes, Crystal, yes, on uh, Hawaii 5 -0. They were very classy and how they stood up for themselves. I totally agree. Certainly, they have other things to uh, look forward to. So, all right, I'm going to try to do this without having to put my glasses on today. See, I've got it set up different. So now you're looking over my right shoulder, and I don't have to sit at a weird angle to paint, actually. It only took me about two and a half or three months to figure this out. Okay. <laughs> anyway. All right. I'm, I'll, I give up. I'm going to need my glasses. No, oh, there you are. I hate looking at myself. I gotta remember to look at the little camera up there instead of at myself. This is my good side anyway. So this is much more convenient. Now, <laughs> on that weird note, um, <laughs> we move onward. Uh, the, the fun thing about this guy is that he actually has uh, uh, yellow tones in the in the I'm just gonna put some of that in there first. Obviously I have a picture of the guy from the Haunted Mansion on my wall. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good, but I'm not that good. I can't paint that good as good as him. Um, so <laughs> anyway, uh, this guy is fun to paint. This is the uh, first one I've done. So what I've taken now is a little bit of the yellow tone, and now I'm going to get some white. Just blend this all together. Just paint that character in there. Then I'm going to take this uh, brown color I've mixed and put that in there. Wipe my brush off and blend it. I think I put some hidden Mickeys in here. Yes, I try to put them in everything. I think I put them in almost everything I paint. I even do them on sets, uh, which is really funny when I design a set for a play. And we are getting ready to uh, have auditions for Hamlet, but I'm already precast. My wife's directing. Come on. <laughs> I'm not playing a big part. I'm playing the ghost of the king. But, uh, but I am doing the set. And I will hide Mickey's on the set, on stage and backstage for the actors. But I don't tell the actors where they are. So sometimes they'll be standing out there um, emoting and, and suddenly look down at their toe. There's a little Mickey Mouse. Um, and then they try not to laugh. RJ strikes again. Okay. Better do this before this dries on me and I'm going to get it over. So... When I'm doing uh, things like this uh, on the flesh, I'm actually uh, uh, blending the colors together. Having a smooth transition. And there's RJ with his finger again, using the finger. Um, no jokes there. Um, let me get a little bit of the I think this is working much better. I can actually paint easier. Duh. Um, <laughs> uh, of Grace Park on Hawaii Five O, she actually uh, 
look very much like the uh, 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 a woman in Polynesia in Bora Bora, in Tahiti and Bora Bora, that I dated for a while. It was before Suzanne and I got together, okay? <laughs> and she knows about it. Strangely enough, her name was Suzanne, not Grace, like Grace Park, but very similar look. So, uh, yeah, that was, well, that was way back in 1963, late 63, early 64. Uh, I went down to Bora Bora on a submarine on a photo mission in the Navy and uh, met uh, that young lady the first day I was there. And no, it was not in a bar. We actually met in a restaurant, in a shop. So anyway, enough about that. I'm getting a call from Jeff. <laughs> Suzanne and I were high school sweethearts. Went together starting in 10th grade. Then we broke up the beginning of our senior year. She broke up with me. Said I was immature. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then I went in the Navy and she went to college. And we dated other people. In fact, we were each engaged with somebody else for, I think, for a while. And then I came home on leave after Tahiti and Bora Bora, and just before I was going to Vietnam, and I asked her out to dinner, and seven days later, we were engaged. Yay! So I'm obviously putting in burnt umber here and blending it. This nice looking kneecap. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to go to a little bit of black. I'll put a little bit of black. Get some of that off my brush. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Let's, let me stop for a second and see. Uh, okay, cool about the hidden Mickey. Yes, it is fun. Uh, I, I love doing it. Um, hey, Kyle. Kyle Hines. Kyle, uh, how you doing? <laughs> We've known Kyle and his sister since they were uh, this big. Uh, <laughs> Holly and Rick Hines live down in Louisville, and we've known them forever. And uh, we've watched the kids grow up. And Kyle is now doing great, aren't you? Great wife, two kids. Yeah. All right. Um, OK. <laughs> is this a commission piece? Yes, it is. Um, actually, I have two of them I'm doing. I was trying to get both of them done at the same time, um, but time-wise, it wasn't possible. I should mention that, uh, uh, too. Uh, it's, it's, I try to stay on schedule. Uh, when people commission me, I tell them that uh, once I'm commissioned, it takes 10, about 12 weeks before I get to that painting of theirs because I have a queue of paintings. Uh, I think I've got total of 17 paintings right now to do um, and my goal is to try to do one uh, a week uh, sometimes one and a half a week but right in the middle of all this in the last month or so we were house hunting and kept having to run out and do stuff and then um, of course then we signed a contract and now we're going through that whole process and we're actually almost there knock on Knock on wood again, because um, they're doing the appraisal next, and if everything goes okay there, 
uh, we will be done with that. But what happened was it, it, all this gets in the way. I mean, I'd get up in the morning and say, I'm going to paint today. Next thing I know, we're running out the door to go to the to the to our banker. Then we're going over to see the real estate agent. Then we're seeing the owner of the house who's selling it. And, and uh, yeah, gee, what a what fun um, oil or acrylic? Acrylic. I worked in oils years ago. Um, I started in oils. Um, loved it. I can tell, to tell you my first two oil paintings in. 12th grade in high school were an absolute disaster. <laughs> I kept putting colors in it pretty soon. It was just mud. Um, but somehow I got through it. And uh, and actually, the reason uh, there is a story of why I switched to uh, acrylics, and even though I've done some oils over the years, I prefer the acrylics now, is that... Um, I was in my uh, first and only year teaching as a high school art teacher uh, in Miami before we moved. Uh, after one year, I quit and we moved up to Orlando to try to get on with Disney. And of course, we all know how that worked. Uh, but uh, no, this, this one day, and it was, I'd been teaching uh, for about uh, three or four months. And uh, and there I disconnected, so I stopped talking. I happened to turn around and see that. Anyway, uh, she said that her best friend was uh, the head of uh, publicity and marketing at, I think it was the Durrell Hotel on Miami Beach. And um, they wanted to do something special for Liza Minnelli uh, because she was appearing at the hotel for a few weeks or whatever. And uh, a great show, which we did get to see. Uh, um, but anyway, yeah, I got to uh, I got to meet Liza Minnelli, and she at the time she was dating Desi Arnaz Jr. Uh, she uh, just recently won the Academy Award uh, along with um, I came right out of my head. I was just going to say it. Anyway, for Cabaret and um, Joel Gray is what I was going to say. We met him also. Uh, anyway, I had only uh, five days to do the painting. <laughs> no way I could do it in oil because it wouldn't have been dry. So I Said, sure, I can do that. And of course, they did pay me it was commission fees. I went, met Liza, took photographs and everything of her. Uh, so it wasn't a great surprise. She knew something was going on. But uh, I uh, then did the painting in acrylics. It was almost a nightmare trying to figure out how to paint in acrylics to dry real fast as opposed to the oils. So, all right, back to the leg. This is very funny because this, this leg has more uh, flesh tone in it and the other leg has more of the yellow in it. Funny how you really don't notice those things until you start painting the figures. Um, get some of that on here. So I'm going to dry brush this down just a little. I apologize if I repeat stories. Um, <laughs> I have to tell everybody, did I tell you this story? Um, actually, it's quite funny. I'll start telling uh, something something about this, like to our friends and, and uh, my wife and the family go, okay, we're going to go in the other room and play a game or do something else. We've heard this. Beige color here. Too bad I don't have somebody who could actually uh, sit beside me and 
and talk and actually read your comments. Suzanne can't do it. She's busy uh, working on uh, some stuff on our next book about Disney. And actually right now she's uh, taking notes and getting ready for the uh, auditions of Hamlet. So she's upstairs doing that. And uh, so I get no help from her. I'm on my own. Anybody want to volunteer to come to Chicago and help out? Actually, we're in Naperville, which is west of Chicago. And Aurora is the next city over. It's the second largest city in the state of Illinois. And uh, so we're, we'll be about 25 miles from downtown Chicago. All the, all the towns and cities run together now. Can't tell something. You can't tell when you're in one or the other. More white right there. And get some more beige. Go down the line. You can see I'm not concerned about painting over the, the garter right there. I'm going to get some uh, burnt umber on my brush. And a little bit right there. I can see where the garter is enough to, uh, to paint it now, so that's not a problem. First thing I do on these is, because uh, I always work from the back to the front, um, and uh, so obviously the first thing I did was paint the background. And I did the curtain and then I started at his head and worked it down. I need a stool to sit on too. I have this great chair I'm, I'm sitting in right here that swivels. But uh, these long, tall paintings, uh, I actually